Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a great day to be a fan of the Stars Network. Two of their big shows have been renewed. I got the homegirl, Moochie. Put them hammers up in the comment section. Ew. Moochie, did you see the news? P-Valley is going to be coming out in June. Yes, I did see that. And High Town has been renewed for a season three. Moochie, are you excited? Yes, I am. I'm excited. I want to see Charmaine. I want to see mm -hmm. Chuleta. I want to see Chuleta. your boy Osito, the king of the cape. I'm ready for king it. King of the cape. Damn. Well, <laughs> before you see all them, you will see this lovely young lady tomorrow. This is Tanya Glanz. She plays Leslie on the show, and we will have her on my electronic couch just talking about the great news of season three, where she wants to see her character go, and we'll get to know a little bit more of her acting acumen in case you didn't know. Believe me, you're going to enjoy this one. She is a something. Great actress. And um, I think you guys will be thoroughly happy with the interview she's going to do tomorrow. So now, Moochie, as we wait for our other friends to get in here, this is my third recap for this last episode of Tommy, and this will be the last one for the week. After this, we've got um, Snowfall to cover. We've got Bel Air. We've got some other things we're going to cover this week. And I'm going to be putting theory videos out about Hightown as well. Moochie will too, so be sure to subscribe to her channel. Ooh. Moochie, let's talk about Miss Gloria. We oh. already seen Daddy Flynn roll up on Gloria. And we've seen Daddy Flynn slap the pure fire out of his son, Vic. Right. Is there any truth to the rumor that Daddy Flynn might be the one to take out Glow? What do you think, Moochie? It's a chance because he does not want the bloodline rule and he's trying to keep his son in line. Hmm. Hmm. So, hmm. So, Moochie... Let, let, let me make sure I, I get If it happens, that boy Vic gonna lose his mind, yo. He gonna be hmm. shooting up stuff and he gonna be shooting up the club. <laughs> now, Moochie, in terms of glow, you really think that Daddy Flynn would be so sinister that he'd be willing to kill the one thing that his son wants the most? I, listen, you know why I say he might be capable of doing it? We haven't seen an evil side of him yet. We've seen him bark. We ain't seen his bite yet. Okay. So I'm going to, we we're going to see, you know how um a kid keeps playing with fire? I feel like yep. Vic is that kid that's playing with fire and he's about to get burnt. Okay, well, I, I want to continue that line of dialogue in just a second, but let me shout out the wonderful people that come to see us. Robbie Jr., 68, glad to have you. B.B. Gaines, my brothers. King Mars, Tressa C., always holding down the channel. D. Weave, Alex Haran Jr., my boy up in Michigan. Jeremiah, Richard Lovett down in the 252. A.J. Rich, my brother from another in the 252. Jeremiah Latumba, Miss Talk Box, and Miss Talk Box again. Yeah. Now, Mooch, this this is a little this is a little off subject. And ladies and gentlemen, bear with us. We just kind of free balling tonight, getting it in. We're gonna let you guys lead a lot of this conversation as well. But when when Stars released that P Valley is coming out and High Town had got renewed for season three. Did you see your boy, old Cutthroat 50, going nuts, upset that Power Force hasn't been renewed? And I'm like, damn, 50. I, I feel we like he needs to chill for a minute because I think it's going to, I feel like it's going to get renewed, but I feel like he needs to pump his brakes with it because Moochie. he's like pissed off. He's ready to freaking Mo take Moochie. his ball and go home like we playing football Moochie. on the block. Moochie, I'm here to tell you and everybody else. 50 do this shit every single year. It just so happens another show in the demographic of stars he's deciding to pick on 
when stars, I mean, Hightown might not get the high number of ratings, but in terms of broad-based viewers, Hightown gets more broad-based viewers than what Power does. And 50 got to know, Tommy's getting another season. I mean, for crying out loud, he even said in in his – his Instagram post, he even said it himself, is currently the highest rated show on Stars. Right. And you think Stars ain't trying to make that money? Come on, bro. 50 do this every year. I want y'all to pump your brakes. I don't know if he was doing that for the appeasement of his fans because they was all up in his comment. Oh, I'm a lead star. I've been waiting to leave star. Mm. Mm. Look, I ain't say all of that. I just mm. said, you know, we only into the what the, going on to the fifth episode. It's gonna get renewed. Mm-hmm. I, I don't see them Mucci, canceling it like that. Moochie, I one hundred percent guarantee you that they've already given Tommy's show three three seasons. At the very least, they've given them three seasons. At least, hundred percent guarantee that. So I those think- of y'all worried. That 50 going to take his football and go somewhere else. No, he's not. He's not going anywhere else. If he was to ever go somewhere, I think he would try to create his own network. And as of right now, the money ain't funny. With stars, they paying good. He ain't going nowhere. Don't even worry about that. I believe Um, he will create his own network. And then he'll be able to do whatever he wants. I see 50 doing big things like that next. He's gonna he stay could. with stars, though. I, I think. I yeah, could be wrong. because he might. The way creating, he is, we don't know what he got planned. Creating your own network is a risk. Um, now it, it it could work, but it's it's a risk. But I think Fifty is going in the right direction. You know, he's about to do a DC comic, right? Yes, and I'm I'm here for it. You know, we here for it. <laughs> of course, we here for it. Um, and and I, I can't wait for to see how the crowd responds to that because typically when we do reviews of comics, we don't get a lot of people following us to watch that. So I'm interested to see if this crowd just really loves 50 and its content or are folks out there just reluctant to watch reviews dealing with comics. Any event, we'll see where it goes. Um, Shout out to Beard Game Tabernacle. Shout out to Mark Darson. Shout out to, let me see here, One Shot Gaming. Shout out to Larry Jones, Tracy Lee. 50, she out here talking like Daddy Flynn saying 50 full of shite. <laughs> Sounding like Walter Flynn himself. Now, Moochie, here's another rumor on the block. I'm listening. Now, this is your wheelhouse. This is you your got spelling. your ear to the street this week, <laughs> my man. <laughs> hey. now, this, this is your wheelhouse, Moochie. All right. Word on, word on the street is the reason why Kate Egan left Chicago, and this might be a video for somebody. The word, the word on the street is Kate Egan left Chicago, Moochie, because she knew that there would be blowback from Walter Flynn about her getting pregnant by a black That's what I said. Baby. She was going to get this on. Mm-hmm. Look, I um, was right. I was right, Em. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> now, well, here's the thing, Moochie. Why didn't Walter Flynn take out his aggressions on Sonny from the Shy, who is the daddy of JP? Because he disappeared too. He disappeared too. Yeah, but now he he's back. Too. Now he's back. He's back now, and so right. is JP. So why hasn't he continued that reign of terror with these men now that they're both back? For one, K hasn't come back. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know. He doesn't know that they're back yet. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like if Kate comes back, then that's where the drama is gonna come, and that's when my theory is gonna be proved. If y'all didn't check mm-hmm. out my theory, please go to my channel. And <laughs> yeah, go go check out Moochie channel, y'all. Put them hammers up and go check the sister out. She does Thank a great you, job of theory. It. Her links is all up in the video description. She's she's riding this ship to the top. Stick with the sister. And I do want to see Kate Egan come back because I do think she'll add a layer of drama. And I would love to see how JP's dad would react to actually seeing Kate Egan 
in the flesh. But the question is, Moochie, what percentage chance do you give the show of bringing Kate Egan back? Look, you know her and Tommy don't get along. They left mm-hmm. on bad terms. But at the end right. of the day, that is still his mama. Remember how he was mm-hmm. mad at her uh, with Terezi? Mm-hmm. But then once he killed Terezi, where did he go? He climbed right into his mama bed and got some yep. other love. A right. mama's hug. So that's I, that's what I'm going with. Okay. All right. I can rock with that. Having said that, Moochie, <laughs> there are some other little snafus we need to talk about in All this right, story. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. Jannard. We, we we hit on this before. Do you think his animosity toward his brother, toward Tommy, would lead him down a primrose path to team up with Rojas just to get a brief momentary second of vengeance? And do you think he would rat to Rojas that Tommy is the one that killed his goons and not CBI? Look, we might see that happen. We might see him go up to that jail and and we see Rojas and him on the VI and he going to be spilling <laughs> the beans. They're going to be talking in cold and he, he about to get out in a couple of weeks and then he going to go rolling up into that barbershop talking about do something to make me feel good. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we're going to get that Players Club, Yeah, huh? we're going to get that Players make, Club thing. Do, do something, something make, make me feel good. better. <laughs> oh, my Boy, goodness. Gonna get, I'm going to get out and get them myself. <laughs> Folks, we, we've got uh, 175 on a Tuesday night. Can we please get 175 likes? Let's get 175 new subscriptions to Moochie's channel. She's putting that work in, working it out. Let's help this sister escalate to the next level. Now, Moochie, Tommy's got to get a crew. Who, what, where are the available bodies at? And will we see Two Bit come back to help Tommy as he's dealing with the Serbs? Definitely. You know, you got to, he got to call. He doesn't have a problem with Two Bit. They left on good terms. That's his boy. He's a loyal soldier. He's a good soldier. Two Bit is coming. That's, that's what I'm going with. How long he going to stay in New York? I don't know, but he's coming. You know, Mooch, I'm going to give you another theory. You know there's a way they can tie this show to book two, right? If they wanted to. Yeah, because Blanca. You could, you, Blanca's one part. But, you, mm-hmm. but right now, who are the Tejadas getting their drugs from? Nobody. Mecca's gone. Right. So you could easily say that their connection is the same Serbian cat, Musevich, who is about to come and fuck around with Tommy, and that could be a way to bring the Tejadas and Tariq into this show or vice Ooh, versa. Look, you, I could see it happen. I could see if he got a call on his nephew to come, he owe him anyway. We yep. and, and, and we already know that Tariq's already a shooter, but we just got to hope Blanca Rodriguez is not on the St. Patrick Trail where she's going to be after all, all of them. Tariq St. Patrick and Thomas Egan. <laughs> You're alive. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Um, t- Tommy going to need that help. He- he's going to need folks he can trust, soldiers he can trust. And as of right now, the only thing he's got is Diamond and Vic. That's it. And, That's and-, it. and Lily... And Lily, and that ain't enough. That's not going to be enough soldiers to handle what's coming his way. Look, he now, looked like he might have to get, get behind Lily on her for a minute because it's, she's like, they they ready to come take her head off. That's true. Now, b- because we know, we know for a fact. Now, they haven't told us this, but we know for a fact. Tommy and Flynn, Walter Flynn, they related. We know that. So right. do you think that Walter Flynn would add a layer of protection for Tommy if Tommy do something for him? I think I I already, I feel like, how can I say this? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how. He wants his business ran a certain way, 
and he's one of those old men that's not gonna give in. Mm-hmm. But he has, I, as much as people don't, and maybe people don't see it, he has taken a liking to Tommy. Yeah, and I definitely. feel like he knows who he is, but he's not sure of it. Mm-hmm. He knows who he is, he is, but he's not sure of it. Once he gets more confirmation. I feel like he likes the way Tommy does business and he's bringing Vic up. Yep. And now Vic is growing some cojones. He is. <laughs> and he mm-hmm. is standing up to his father finally. I don't know if it's because he got the fear that he might lose his girl or he's just tired of the BS. He tired of that BS, man. He tired of the BS. And in his next, this next episode... We're going to see Walter Flynn put hands on Vic, cross the face, one to the mouth, two to the face, pop, slap the fire out of him. And is that going to be enough to wake up Vic Flynn that look, bro, I know you my daddy and all, but uh, I can't be having nobody putting no hands on me. Hell, I'm not, I'm a grown ass man now. I, <laughs> I can't be having. he already got his um, wake up, like when he said, when he said that comment is either I, Stay with you and be a boy, or go mm-hmm. on with go and be a man. Right. When he made that comment, even Walter Flynn saw, you know what, he is kind of right about this. But you know how some parents don't want to let their kids leave. Of course not. Of course not. And and this guy, he he has no other son that we know of to give the business to. And he ain't trying to give it to his daughter. And I can easily see a situation where somehow, some way, Claudia might escalate and be running the Flynn organization while Vic is just going to co-ride with Tommy. You see that? I can see that. As, as, much as, it se- as much as it seems like they might set the story up to have Claude and... Tommy working together, ultimately they could all be adversaries, if you know what I'm saying. True. They could ultimately be adversaries. Um, so let me see this. So what what do y'all think they relationship? Uncle, grandpa to Tommy. What you think, Moochie? I think that's his great uncle. I think Miriam Egan is his sister. Mm, okay. I think that's okay. his older sister. <laughs> let me read Candace. <laughs> <laughs> if Flynn is Kate's brother, well, you're not saying it's Kate. You're saying it's Kate's uncle. That means the first boy in the Irish line is black. Yes, <laughs> do, that's do, why they do, left. Do, do 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 so? Do we do we think JP is older than Vic? Yes. Okay. No, okay. not Vic. JP is older than than Tommy. Okay. Okay. Because remember, um, Tommy's yeah, JP dad, definitely. Her, I mean, what am I saying? Uh, Herman said that they he had she got pregnant when they was 17, right? Right, and right. if you go by if you go by Tom, Tony Soretti, to Soretti, he said that he met her at a strip club in Atlantic City, so she had to be mm-hmm. over 18 to be stripping in a club and stuff like that. But then again, back in the days, you could get over with a fake ID. I was, I was about to I'm, say, you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I, but I'm just look. This is the story I'm going. With. If you're going by age and stuff like that, I'm I'm going with that. Okay, okay, I can rock with that. I can I can definitely rock with that. Um, JP is definitely older than Vic. Vic is the baby. Yeah, he's definitely older than Vic because Claudia is older than Vic too, right? Yep. Vic mm-hmm. is the baby. That's why he treats him like that. Right. He probably has wow. resentment towards Claudia because she was a she was a girl. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Kate Egan had to run because it won't no way a nigga was gonna be the head, the first, ch- the oldest child in exactly. this Irish mob game. That, that's mm. my point. I, and that's what I said in my video. I said. She she had to leave town because she had a baby with a black man. That, and, and remember how he kept insisting about that bloodline. Right. Yep. 
So we'll see where that one goes. Um, now, let's talk about Landmine Lily, one of my favorite characters on this show this season. Mucha, what are we going to do with her? Is she going to well, learn I, the you know, recipe? I like, her, I like her spunkiness. I like, I like her too, man. I like her too. And you know what? That scar, I'm down with the scar too. Um, I just didn't like Jannar making love to the scar, trying to fit his whole body in the damn scar and sniff coke off the scar. But I'm other sorry. than that, I got, I, that was kind of like a turn on in a little, in a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for you women, it won't no turn. It won't no it turn, was a turn on for us on men. In a weird sort of way, because yeah. we actually saw a sensitive side to him that he wasn't the angry man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you women that love thugs, y'all like to see when they do something a little soft, a little, <laughs> a little sweet. And he, he rubbing that scar. <laughs> I, was, I was like, damn, dude, you want to put a blanket on it too? Make the whole thing warm. Just all right. she she took her money like a real G and left. And it's like, that's all you're gonna get, Punta. But but she already Mucci, let him know, like she he asked her to kill Tommy, and she was like, That will never happen. That's what she said. She ain't gonna do it. So, do you see her getting the recipe to make? These drugs Dahlia is making. Do you see that happening? Definitely. She's a cook. She's a cook. The question is, who's going to die? Is it going to be Maya? Or is it going to be the other girl, um, De Delilah? Is it Dahlia? Mm -hmm. Dahlia. Yeah. yeah. Who's going to die? Once she learns that, they're not going to need her anymore. Oh, she's done. I think Tommy put her on. Tommy put Liliana on to follow them for a reason. He knew about. He already knew about the drug. He knows it's some sort of um synth synthetic thing, and he's trying to he's trying to make his way here, and he's gonna he's gonna get in with Claudia, and they're gonna get rid of that girl. She's already seen like she's gonna be a problem. Mm-hmm. Yep. Trust C said a cook is different from a chemist. Put some respect on my profession. <laughs> I agree, but if somebody watch you do everything, you know the recipe. Exactly. I, I was agree saying that. that. Yeah, I was saying that last night. They might keep her around because she has the credentials, but they're doing mm -hmm. illegal stuff, so they really don't need her. Nope. Heard that. So Moochie. I'm putting everybody's name. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. I mean, th that's what we do. It, it shows character. It's all good. You know how many names I be butchering, especially it's when you start talking Delilah, about these, right? You, yeah, these yeah, Ukrainian okay, I, well, names. I wasn't sure and stuff. Was Dahlia or Delilah? Yeah, the, the um, Dahlia, Delilah, whichever one it is. The 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 chemist. How about we call her that? She the chemist. Moochie. Who's the next body Tommy is going to collect? Because, damn, these streets need a body hardcore on Power Book Force because Tommy's just taking them out left and right. Well, we saw them, the Serbs at his firehouse. We don't know yeah. how that's going to play out. We don't. We don't know we don't. how that's going to play out. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like... Uh, I don't know right now because he's mm -hmm. he 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 killed every he killed somebody this episode he killed a whole bunch of people this episode. So I I got somebody that's going to need to die, Mucha. You want to see his face? Yes. You want to see his face? Yes. <laughs> oh, you, you know what? Look, I think <laughs> he's going. Um, I think he's going, but. <laughs> Look, I, I think ladies, he's gone. Ladies and gentlemen, who's gonna kill this black dude first? Walter Flynn, Vic, Tommy, or Diamond? Who's gonna take care of this dude? Somebody is gonna take care of this dude. And um, someone posted a comment, it won't be Tommy. Because Tommy and Ghost, didn't they? They used to go by the rule. They don't kill cops, right? Nah. 
too much heat. So it ain't I gonna think be one Tommy. of the young boys is going to do it. Exactly. You, I mean, you took the words right out of I my mind. I think one of the young boys is going to do it because, you know, they, they notorious for doing stuff like that. They reckless. They got nothing to lose. But if they, if don't they care. do, it's going to be all on Janard. Because basically, that's Janard's crew. So we still got to talk about the situation that's going to be going on with Tommy Nephew, his brother, and how are they going to turn the tables on the situation? Because the daddy done seen... Daddy has seen his son is doing this. And when Tommy find out that this dude is working with the CBI undercover, how is he going to respond to that, Moochie? I, with this whole thing with JP, I'm kind of mad that he couldn't put it together when the other kid was calling him D. Mm -hmm. When he was like, yo, D, you know what your son's name is. I mean, you stood there, looked him in the eye. You didn't recognize anything. I mean, okay, maybe he doesn't look like you, but you can't tell me he probably don't look like his mother. You know what I'm saying? You know, you don't, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But then again, yeah. he did have his hair in his face, so he could use that as an excuse. But I was like, how he didn't put that together? I mean, it, it happens, man. Um, it happens. Uh, but I'm, I'm still just, I still, Moochie, there's a lot of unanswered questions with JP. Like, we don't know where this dude work. Do he got a job? Because every time we see him, he like, he like, bro, man, coming through the windows, taking sandwiches and shit. What, what, what does he do? We know he had a, we know he had a, a boyfriend who's done kicked him to the curb. Um, so basically, who, uh, the business is his club, right? It is. So he's self-employed. We think and he's taking care of his father. Moochie, but, we so ain't seen have, with him, right? Yeah, Moochie, we ain't seen nothing going on in that club other than him sweeping up glass. I haven't <laughs> seen nobody drink no beer in that club. I ain't seen nothing happening in JP Club other than he all the time having to clean up messes. So, and he done told you that whoever the boyfriend was got some money and done cut him off. Right. Will they bring that boyfriend back into the story? Yeah, I want to see who he is. I do too. Now, would it would it be a stroke of genius if the boyfriend just so happens to be? Let me pull it up. What if the boyfriend is this dude right here that's buying the drugs from Claude? Who um Reggie? Reggie. Reggie Pina? Look, Reggie, Reggie Pina? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Reggie, Reggie Penis. Yeah. Now, Reggie, I don't know. Look, man, I look. Could you imagine? He get, he does give off that Lobos vibe, though, don't he? I'm telling you. Lobos all day. He does give off that Lobos vibe. And, and, mm. and it seems like Claudia and Reggie know each other because they both in the life. Right. Definitely. Definitely, but uh, I, I still want to know what the hell is going on with JP because I want to get me some answers to that. But for now, I guess we'll just see where they take this story and how it's going to work out. Um, let me take some questions, Moochie, from the subscribers, and then we're going to get out of here a little early. I got to get prepared for this interview tomorrow with, if you love Hightown the way we do, come on back tomorrow. Tanya Ooh, Glenn said, "Let Lobos rot in New York." We know he did. <laughs> he gave me that vibe, though. Like he has, like his his demeanor. Oh goodness! <laughs> he know. Uh -uh, no, 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 no. Gave me holiday heart vibe. <laughs> oh, Tressa. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this, Nancy, my homie says, "I think the boyfriend is Detective Seamus." Mm. What? That's mm. a good one. Mm. Okay. I, I see where you're going, Nancy. Appreciate you, sis. He's already a dirty here. cop. It's possible. Mm -hmm. It could be. And that ain't the only thing he's doing that's dirty. Could be. Um, let's see here. Ms. Anderson says, he said the mother kept him away from him when JP was locked up. Okay. Okay. 
That sound like Mecca. Sound that sound like Mecca from All the right, other Tavisa, power. Tavisa says the son knows who his dad is. That's why he never allowed his boy to kill his dad. He also stood there and stared at him for a while before he ran off. I know he knows who he is, but I'm surprised JP didn't recognize him. Right, right. I feel like he should have exactly. recognized his kid. A little bit, a little bit. But I mean, Moochie, if he ain't seen this little boy since he was like seven years old, dude ain't have dreads or nothing. You know, it's probably he probably looks different at this point. You know, he's he's getting ready to be a, a man almost. He's about to be 18 or something like that. And now he got dreads and he don't look the same. Yeah, but he, it him. wasn't like he was locked up. He came out. He When he let her know that he was in the life, that's when she kept the kid from him. Okay. Okay, he said he said he ain't. Okay, Larry Jones said he hasn't seen him since he was two. Right. Okay. Yeah, he ain't seen him since he was two. Which is, I mean, just, if something happened and I don't see L from two to, let's just say, 14, it might be difficult for me to pick up on that's her. Very difficult. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me see what else we got. Okay, let's read this one. Did the Serbs take over the Jimenez or did they get the drugs from Rodolfo because he knew Jason? Moochie? This, this, hmm. and that's, I, don't is that even, the, I don't recall that. Like, I, I don't recall the Serbs doing anything with the Jimenez crew. I just believe they had one group of people. They was at one time they was getting drugs from the cartel, and mm -hmm. at another time they was getting drugs from the Serbs. And remember, at first Tommy was only dealing with the Serbs. They wouldn't even deal with right. ghosts. Mm hmm. Wow. Okay. Tressa C. She says, "How is it possible that JP and his son roam in the same place?" And no bumping to each other. They probably have. I'm look. I believe the son been bumping into daddy, but daddy just don't know what his son looked like. I agree. Uh, and you know, and that son, if he's willing to go shoot up his dad's establishment of business, you don't think he's screwing around with dad by like following them places, doing crazy stuff like he's candy man and stuff. I could easily see that happening. Uh, let me see. Angela Helper. They took on the territory. That's why Jason killed Alicia. Okay. And that's why he wanted to remember when um Tom I, I know now I know what she's talking about. Remember when Tommy dressed up as the ambulance driver and hunt him and Ghost was trying to kill her at the same right. time? That's what she's talking about. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Let me see here. Jeremiah says, I think Rodolfo is going to go to Chicago to find Tommy. Mm, I would love to see that happen. <laughs> I mean, let's just have let's just have a big fest where all these people coming after Tommy head. Let's just have it. Uh, Lions then says, what's up, Lamont Mucci? What's up, a.k.a. Trey X? Let me see what else we got in here. All right. That, that, that boy, boy Ant. Okay. He says, do you feel like the Serbs might kidnap Tariq to get Tommy to come to them? Because remember, the detective in book two, Ghost, was looking into the Serbians' network too, which he was, Moochie. That could mm -hmm. be another connection. That could be another connection to um, Power Book 2. So what do you think, Moochie? Would they do something like that? Or would the Tejadas be able to protect Tariq? I don't know. Because it's like they do so much backbiting with them. He might look, he might be out in the summer and, and it'd be some kind of problem. Who knows? You never know. But it could, it, I mean, if they wanted to tie it that way, they could. I don't think it's going to be this season, though. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, Reggie M wants to know why do people think 2 bit is coming to force? Uh, Reggie, the, the rumor on the street has been since last year that he's going to be on force one somehow, some way. So that's yeah, why I think a lot of people think he's coming. Mm -hmm. All uh -oh. right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Angela Helper, Mucci confirmed this too. The original Rodolfo is Frankie from Hightown. So, yep. and, so he, I don't know if he's going to be back because 
He's about to be filming Hightown season three because he definitely ain't dead on Hightown. Who? All right, let's. Frankie. Frankie's not dead. Oh, no, he's not dead. Mm. I think he just got oh. jumped up in, in the jail. Yeah, yeah. Moochie, you, you, you have a request, Moochie. I need you to summons. I need you to summons. <laughs> Detective Blanca Rodriguez. Rod yes, Detective Rodriguez. Let me let me let me Is interview Rodriguez. He's gonna come Rodriguez all the way from quick. New York to chase Tommy's <laughs> Thomas Egan. <laughs> Um, Detective Rodriguez, this I'm Lamont Tyson with the Life Games channel. Um, you know, I have every now and then I get a couple of stars up here, but I got some questions for you. Um, first of all, Detective Rodriguez, how is it that you are able to get two checks from two different shows trying to chase a ghost that you're never going to catch? I've got the capability to track down anybody. I, I can track once I, I'm like a dog with a bone and I won't let it go once I have a scent of it. <laughs> so rank St. Patrick, we meet again. <laughs> Blanca, Detective Blanca Rodriguez, we heard you making sexual noises <laughs> on an episode with Rojas. Is there any way we can keep you from having scenes like that on Power Book Force? Look, we don't know. This might happen. You know, there's a nice Irish girl I might be willing to test. <laughs> you mean test or taste? Which one are you talking about? <laughs> That's I mean, I'm just, oh, that's, that's all. That's that all. Was, it gets on my nerves too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rink St. Patrick, we meet again. I like, I like <laughs> Blanca, man. Y'all tripping, man. Blanca, Blanca adds to the story. Y'all, y'all be tripping, man. Y'all be tripping. Oh my goodness. So, well, Moochie, uh oh. Just when I was about to get up out of here, ladies and gentlemen, we got one more opinion to get. It's y'all's favorite. Hey, it's the Kay. Kay, What's guys. Going on, Miss Kay? I'm so sorry. I really did not plan on this. My freaking uh, the, I don't. I called it a boiler, but I was told it's not. It's like the hot water heater or something like that. The it's in the place that I actually um record go live with you guys so i was having some issues and stuff so Hi. oh it's all good miss k you ain't I got, got you ain't got to apologize coming here with your leopard skin oh, yes oh, <laughs> i had to come in with my robe i couldn't even really like do anything i just had to come in just regular on me <laughs> oh. hey guys <laughs> so i didn't Ms. even get k. to hear what y'all was talking about Sheesh. it's all good it's all good, Miss K. Miss K, give us your opinion of this last episode. Your likes and your dislikes. Oh, my likes and my dislikes. Um, hey, everybody. Hey, Silence Jackson. Um. Oh, hold on, Miss K. Uh, oh, yeah. Ooh, you got to get that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Alicia. Oh, my good Lord. Have mercy. That's just Lord. Have mercy. I appreciate that, Super Sticker. <laughs> I, let me get you a you video the girls on deck. out and about tonight. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> they, they is in the building. I mean, the minute Miss K come up here with her leopard print, I start getting money. Lord <laughs> have mercy. I don't even here we go. It. <laughs> this is for you, Alicia. Let me give you uh let me give you this one. This one's always funny. What a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside. Okay, baby, let me tell you something. If a whore ain't paying y'all bills, that's the last thing y'all should be worried about. Hey. Yep. Last thing you need to be worried about. <laughs> I appreciate that, Alicia. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Right, so, so yeah, Miss K, how you feeling about this episode? Um, what you like, what you didn't um, like, and is it picking up for you? Yeah, I feel like it's been picking up for me. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. because this little mute thing is going off as if I'm muted. Um, yeah, it's been picking up for me. So uh I, I mean I feel like the stuff is going up and down between the brothers a little bit. You know, it's like, I don't know. 
uh, one way, one minute, Jannard is looking like he just wants to kill his brother. Then he's looking like he's he's cooperating just a little bit. Listen, even though I know in this episode he was not cooperating, I know that. But when he was, you know, talking to him, saying he got to make a choice, like how you going to tell the man he got to make a choice when you already behind his back plotting for the takeover? Mm. You mm. know. Mm. So I didn't really see the point mm. in that one, but whatever. Mm. <laughs> and um, you know, I definitely loved Vic stepping up. And uh, doing his thing, and mm-hmm. um, you know that's, and then the fact that him and Tommy were working together, regardless of you know glow, not fighting over the cookie, they got to get this money. <laughs> that was good. That was a good look. Yeah, that that was a very Hi, wise choice. Very very wise choice. Tommy just said, "Nah, it ain't worth it, man. I got to get this money." Yeah, and. And, and, and you know what? That could have been him showing a little bit of respect to Vic, too. You know, mm-hmm. it could have been. Because they could have been fighting over that mess. But, I mean, it's all good. I, right. I like the way they worked that one out. But now, Miss K, that leaves questions about Glow. What's going to happen mm-hmm. with Glow? Because even though Tommy said he's done with her, she ain't look like she done with Tommy. I mean, she don't look like she's done with Tommy. And she definitely doesn't look like she's done with... um. Vic. Vic. So, <laughs> but I think that uh, the father is done with her. So, <laughs> yeah. he, the yeah, father been he, done with anything that's black. Yeah, he probably don't even let his kids tan. He's so but he's done with her to the point where he's ready to cancel Christmas, and you know that's that. I mean, I look, I just dropped a theory video, guys. See, I can check it out. But you know, some of you already know that I I came up with that prediction that I feel like he might kill her. You know, but um, I wanted to elaborate on it a little bit, so I just did a video because it would have pissed me off if somebody else would have. So, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> he didn't well, get canceled on Apple Pie, Alamo. <laughs> he didn't get canceled. No, no. <laughs> yes, yes, canceled. y'all stop, stop listening to Fifty. He Fifty tells he just more didn't lies get than Pinocchio. Yet. Yeah, what for? Get for what for Force? Yeah, because yeah, High yes, Town and P Force. Valley got renewed for a third season. So he was on Instagram ranting and raving about it, but he didn't get canceled. It just didn't get renewed yet. And look how long it, High Town took to get renewed. High Town right. season been off over two months, and they just get renewed. Mm-hmm. And, hmm. and Fifty do this every year. No, he, he didn't fi- leave stars. No. Oh, oh whoa. Oh, whoa. Another oh, one. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh. Whoa, whoa. oh okay. Okay. <laughs> it says. What up, Uncle Mott? You think the Jewish crew gonna find out Claudia product is synthetic? They might, but if it still kick their teeth in, they ain't gonna give a damn. They still gonna sit right there and snort it right on up every orifice they own. And for you, as long as he tested, look how many tests he did when they when Tommy bought that the, the drugs down. If it tests out he's, that it's coke like cocaine, they gonna yeah, buy it. They did. Yeah. And I'm let me like get you a care. video. Yeah, let me get you a video, um, my friend. I appreciate that super chat. And since somebody said they wish I would have gave them more of a power thing video, I got just the thing for you. Oh, God. You're fucking him. Because you were too busy fucking Z. You're fucking him. You're fucking him. You're fucking him. I already knew. <laughs> I knew, too. I knew it was going to be that, too. I freaking knew. You're like, oh, my God. <laughs> but I'm over her. I want y'all to know that. I'm over her. I don't need her as a TV wife no more. Look, I done moved she on did. to bigger. I done moved on to bigger and better things. I am now have me a new stable of TV wives starting listen. with Aunt Vivian on Bel Air. Oh, listen, from death to you part, honey. That's the reason why you over her. She well, look, did. I just hope she don't end up having a damn no, with him. No, 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 no. You see how your little sister slip stuff in there like that? Just talking about death to <laughs> she didn't leave me no life insurance money, Miss Kate. I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't mess with that old spun around everybody. Well, look at you, you know. though. I mean, hey, you know, moved on to the next, and you don't moved on to a rich woman, honey. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> and she can paint. She right, and, and she, she's a painter. She, she does tapestries. <laughs> wow. I love it when a woman say tapestries and art deco, and I like it when you start talking that kind of talk. Ooh, wee. 
<laughs> oh, Delina oh said God. Lamont is still in love with Professor Hotcakes. <laughs> nope. Uh -uh. I'm over he it. Said, nope. I'm over it. I'm over it, man. I'm 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 with I'm with Aunt Vivian now. Me and Uncle Phil share her. Oh and, my goodness. Nothing, nothing better than that dark chocolate. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. And if you ain't seen the, the Bel Air, the new show, you're missing on a treat. It is a great yes, show. Yes, absolutely. Really, oh my gosh. really, really good show. Um, well done. Lots mm -hmm. of drama. Positive African Americans with real life dynamic themes that you would see in the hood and you would see if you become a black person that make it as wealthy as they have. It is a great rendition. And that mm -hmm. Jeffrey, that Jeffrey on that show, mm, bruh. Different. Yes. That can't <laughs> He's different. He ain't even they we didn't even see him this episode though. I was kind of missing him. Like, where you at, brother? You got some explaining to do. He wasn't in this episode. <laughs> me too. Yeah, let me tell y'all something. This is not the Jeffrey that's in here baking cookies, um, fetching sandwiches, mm -hmm. and and taking things out to dry unless it's a human body. Okay. Yeah, or this being is sarcastic. a different Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys gotta check that one out. And so, um, Miss K. Yes. <laughs> Give me a prediction for episode five before we get out of here, Tommy. Oh, man. Episode five. <sighs> well, I predicted that. I told you my prediction was that um, Walter would kill um, Glow, but I don't really I don't necessarily pr predict that to happen next week, though. So I don't necessarily have one for. <sighs> I, I don't have any. I can't really think of anything for the next episode mm -hmm. that's the only well, thing that i i mean i kind of do predictions for like the season and not the next episode i don't know <laughs> so let, let let me paint you a scenario okay? okay okay yes just like this all right the serbians have come in town mm -hmm. and they corner tommy it's like six of them mofos and you know they real serbian right now because Russia is invading Ukraine. So they oh, like, boy. they to a 10 10 at this point. How the hell does Tommy escape six Serbians, him and him up on a corner? And he has oh, no my backup. God. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Well, we thought he didn't have backup, um, you know, in this episode, and Vic came out of nowhere. So I don't good know. Point. You never good know. Point. You know, you might good have, point. He, he might, he, have, he might Vic have in the cut, and he might have, um, Liliana in the cut, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you you said Tommy gonna have some shooters up in the sky somewhere, little birdies looking down like they work for yeah. the Lannister family, little birdies looking down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> gonna have he, you know he's gonna have a plan. Like they're not gonna just be able to just take him out like that. And who knows, maybe even Diamond. I want to see Diamond as much as I appreciate this newfound, this new path, right? That he's trying. <laughs> that he's trying to oh, do goodness. he's trying to be in the game without getting his hands dirty all right whatever but you're gonna have to get your hands dirty okay pal and i i want to see it but it has mm. to be for a good reason though okay moochie i got a prediction for you from my boy ray he I was said just gonna prediction. Say reggie's he got a good one too but go holy ahead, son andre was mm. responsible for the smash and grab on his mom. Hmm. Wow. Mm. I can I see think that. so too. I, I, I think it's between that, that or Rojo's oh, people. What about what HEA is saying? Serves are with Flynn. Yep. Yeah, I can see that too. Coming. Because he knew they yeah. were coming. He knew they yeah. were coming. He, he said you it. got a storm coming yep. because of your little sidekick. Mm -hmm. He knew. But, but, at the same, but at the same time, that was kind of his way of warning Tommy, which would elude more to what Mooch is saying about their they're related somehow because he ain't had to tell Tommy nothing. True. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, very true. John says, stop no. playing around and hit that light. What do you button. guys think? What do you guys think that um is gonna happen with that situation with like we saw in the trailer that Tommy was telling Liliana that she has to get out of here. Like they're coming, she has to get out of here. So how do you guys that's what I think? Like maybe she's it's going to look like she left, but she really didn't leave. So when she does. So did you see a trailer with him being in the court, like being cornered? 
Lamont? Yeah, yeah they, they, or the they was at him. the firehouse waiting for him. Because I didn't yeah, see, that, I didn't see that. He pulled yeah. up and they waiting for him. Okay, they so waiting for him. If, if he right sends right, so if he sends her oh. away, let's say Liliana sends her away, I think that's going to be the surprise for us. Is that she is she didn't really go nowhere. She's in. The, she might even be. It might be even a surprise for Tommy. So and that okay. will even maybe okay. bring them even closer to see like okay, I see I got a little rod on my hands. <laughs> right. <laughs> might not. Right. Miss Twelve yeah. Box says she gonna disappear and pop up when Tommy need her. I agree. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Which I means agree. which means she's gonna she's gonna pop up the minute that all them Serbians was outside his dad on firehouse mm. <laughs> and he getting out the car. It's like they six deep. I mean the whole damn suburban was full of Serbs. <laughs> That's why they're riding in the suburban, Serb suburbans. It was full of them. Mm, and suburbans. Tommy, somebody gonna have to help Tommy out in that moment because, um, yeah. I don't know how he's getting out of that, unless it's like oh, Miss yeah. K and the fans are saying he's got what people, if, uh, she's popping up and ready what if, to handle that. What business. if, uh, what's the name shows that you see how he got he, he worked with that gun? Oh, JP, you never know. I, I mean, I know he ain't not, look, JP is not a part of that life. <laughs> He don't know where his brother live, but that would be something, wouldn't it? it I, I don't see how they don't somehow or another allow them to get connected in that manner. Yeah. At some, mm -hmm. Because the nephew is already in the streets. Yeah. Already. Mm -hmm. And at some point in time, th those, those two are going to have to meet up at the yeah. crossroad and figure out which way they're going. Because... JP's probably not going to want the, his son in the streets. Mm -hmm. Tommy's Tommy loves family, so mm -hmm. he might be on the side of I want you to respect your daddy, even though yeah. you want to be in these streets. He mm -hmm. didn't want Tariq in the street, right? Exactly. That's why I don't. I think he's going to try to talk him out of being out there. Yeah. Reggie M yeah. has a comment. He says Gloria is Daddy Flynn snitch. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how. And why? Because why? Why would only, she snitch? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't see that because he can't stand her. Can't stand it, and she don't care for him either. Right. Mm. Yeah, um, I don't know about that um, one. That would be a that yeah. would be a serious twist, but I don't know. It would be. You know, the, I feel the like thing is, he could. That's telling him everything, though. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But Some if that were. If that were to be the twist, yeah, the, the yeah. black cop, if that were to be the twist, then it would be because, you know, he doesn't mind her giving him information, but you just can't be with my son, you know. You no, know, that's, okay. that's the yeah. case a lot, you know. Right. Yeah, and she's with the, she's about the money too. So if he's paying her, I, she right. might be telling him stuff. And mm -hmm. I mean, she, she's helping, she's getting paid to help wash their money. Um, so, I, I, but I don't see that because I think. Her heart, she likes Vic enough that I don't think she would do anything like that. Unless the daddy done said, if you don't do this, you gonna die. You know, mm -hmm. I, I just, she's in I just love with Vic. She's in love with Vic. She still says mm -hmm. she loved him because how loyal he was. Mm. That's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of here. We've got 300. Please like this video. Share like. it. Subscribe. Go check out my sisters, Miss K and Moochie. They both put out excellent videos. And for some reason, y'all seem to like them so much. Whenever they show up, y'all be super chatting your whole <laughs> damn tax, taxes. And I appreciate that. And these Look, sisters like it, too. We about to mm -hmm. go on Miss K channel and do the rewatch of The Wire season one, episode number three. Episode three. Yeah. Come with us. Come hang out with us. Let's reminisce over it. Let's talk about it, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go on, on <laughs> yeah. over there, y'all. And be sure to come back tomorrow for us when we have Tanya Glanz. She plays Leslie oh, wow. on High Town. <clears throat> and now that they've gotten renewed, I'm sure she's going to have a hot take on what they think she's going to be doing. And um, I will ask her about the future of Jesley if they're going to get back together. Mm, That's going to do it Jesley. for us, ladies and gentlemen. Please go check out Moochie and Miss K on, on Miss K's channel. Y'all doing that Thank tonight? You. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> we up in late, like late night. We trying, to, we trying to get our numbers up. We trying to get it up. <laughs> you hear the way she said yes. <laughs> Got me thinking about Lily getting her scar licked and shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 
forget to like the video. Comment, subscribe to that next Sex as Hell video tomorrow, guys. Oh, we'll my see goodness. You. See ya.